TY-90 is the first air-to-air -air missile specifically developed for military helicopters in dogfights. The missile is developed by China with TY stands for Tianyan, short for Sky Swallow. Contrary to the erroneous claims, the missile is not developed from manpad missiles such as QW-1 Vanguard, but instead, it is designed as an air-to-air -air missile from the start. In fact, the surface-to-air version was developed from the air-to-air -air version. Development Chinese determined that the manpad missiles converted for helicopter use in dogfights was not adequate, so a brand new air-to-air -air missile specifically for helicopter use was sanctioned, and TY-90 was the resulting product. The 3 kg warhead of the missile is specially designed to sever the rotary wing with a single shot, and the missile has all aspect attack capability. The missile is designed to ensure a single shot would be sufficient to down an attack helicopter, or at least knock it out of action. At least three additional versions have been developed in addition to the basic version, and two of them being air to air versions. The first adopts a dual band guidance, adding UV to the original IR while the second adopts an MIR guidance. During the fifth Zhuhai air show held at the end of 2004, a ground-launched air defense version appeared, with designation of DY-90, which was essentially the original TY-90, but with an additional option of incorporating a rocket booster to increase range upon customer's request. A navalized surface-to-air version is also developed, utilizing the FLS-1 system and the basic version with IR guidance thus providing a fire-and-forget capability in comparison to the case where QW3 is used. However, this navalized version has not entered service as of 2008, and the reason is reportedly because that the Chinese military wants to wait until the more advanced dual-band or imaging IR version to be incorporated into the FLS-1 system, which are currently under development. However, at Zhuhai Airshow, AVIC-1, the developer of TY-90 only acknowledged the developing and active marketing such systems, but refused to further confirm whether the Chinese military or any foreign customers had placed any orders, and neither did the developer confirm such developmental works were privately funded by the developer or received any funds from the state or foreign customers. Despite marketing efforts, as of 2008, there is no known export of TY-90 of any kind. Specifications for air to air version, length 1.9 meter, diameter 0.09 meter, weight 20 kilograms, warhead 3 kilograms, maximum g force 20 g, guidance, infrared homing, fuse, laser proximity slash contact, speed, Mach 2, minimum range 0.5 kilometers, maximum range 6 kilometers, minimum altitude 0 meter, maximum altitude. 6 km, single shot kill probability, 80%, developer, China Aviation Industry Corporation I. SGEADS, in 2004, a land-based air defense variant of TY-90 is revealed to Chinese public after entering Chinese service in small numbers for some time. Shentong II air defense system is the upgrade of its predecessor SGADS with a quadruple TY-90 slash DY-90 missile launcher replacing the original Type 80 23mm AAA gun in its predecessor, resulting in the new SGEADS. Like its predecessor, SGEADS is also a towed system, and utilizes all other subsystems of its predecessor with the exception of the gun. Because TY-DY-90 is a fire-and-forget weapon. No modification is needed for the fire control system of the original SG ADS. LSADS, during the fifth Zhuhai air show held at the end of 2004, a mobile land based air defense variant of TY 90 was revealed, dubbed as LSADS, short for Lyshaw Air Defense System. Eight TY 90 in two groups of four are mounted in the back of a Dongfeng EQ 2050i in armor high mobility multi purpose wheeled vehicle and the fire control system consists of electro-optics including laser, IR and TV, mounted between the two quadruple launchers. The LSADS is developed by Norinco, with Dongfeng Motor Corporation as the subcontractor to develop chassis. LSADS is capable of being air-transported, included being slung under helicopters. The system is operated by a team of two, one driver and one weaponry system officer. 
the system can also be integrated into larger air defense network. A small number subsequently entered PLA service for evaluation purposes. YTADS, in 2005, another mobile land-based air defense variant of TY-90 was revealed to the Chinese public, named as YTADS, short for Yitian Air Defense System. YTADS is a development of earlier LSADS designed to specifically address the shortcomings of the latter, namely, the insufficient armor protection, lack of amphibious capability and radar. Like its predecessor LSADS, the system is also developed by Norinco. Weaponry of YTADS is similar to that of earlier LSADS, with the missile configuration remains the same as that of LSADS, but additionally, there is an extra 12.7 mm heavy machine gun and three smoke grenade discharges as secondary armament for added protection. WZ-551 is utilized as the chassis of the YTADS, giving the system amphibious capability and added protection. Additionally, a light solid state 3D passive phased array radar is added to the fire control system, just above the original electro optical fire control system, providing the ADS with greater surveillance range. The radar can be fold down for traveling and transportation. Specifications Maximum target altitude, 4 km, minimum target altitude, 15 m, maximum target range, 6 km, minimum target range. 300 m, maximum target speed, 400 m per second, maximum radar searching range, 20 km, maximum radar tracking range, 10 Euro 12 km, system reaction time, 6 Euro 8 seconds. FL 3000N Flying Leopard 3000 Naval was first revealed to the public at the 7th Zhuhai Air Show at the end of 2008. Although using the Flying Leopard designation, FL-3000N is actually a different missile system than FL-2000-V, shown earlier. In fact, the only commonality shared by both SAM's system is the launcher design, and even the launchers differ in size due to the different diameters of the missiles used in the systems. Instead of using QW series manpad, FL-3000N is developed from TY-90 missile. The diameter of the missile is enlarged by a third, but the most important design difference is its guidance system. The FL-3000N missile utilizes a combined guidance system that incorporates both passive radio frequency guidance and imaging infrared guidance. There are a pair of horn-like protrusions mounted on the MIR seeker at the tip of the missile, and these two protrusions are the passive RF seeker. An optional MIR-only guidance is also available and the missile is a fire-and-forget weapon. The fire control system of FL-3000N can simultaneously control two launchers, and can be integrated into other FCS on board ships. Alternatively, FL-3000N is also capable of being directly controlled by other FCS on board ships. The system is usually fully automatic without human intervention, but manual operation can be inserted when needed. The primary launching system of FL-3000N is a 24-cell launcher, developed from FLS-1. An optional extra magazine with automated loading system is available for larger warships when there is enough space provided. On smaller surface combatants where space is limited, the extra magazine with the automated loading system is eliminated and the reload is done manually. To further utilize confined space, an 8-cell launcher and a quadruple launcher are also available. Additionally, a single-cell launcher is available for mounting on existing naval gun mounts. Although dubbed by many Chinese as the Chinese equivalent of a IM-116 rolling airframe missile, it actually differs than the American SAM. In comparison to earlier FLS-1, which is not a fire-and-forget weapon due to its semi-active laser guidance, the fire-and-forget FL-3000N is certainly a step closer to RAM, and the similarity is brought closer due to the passive RF-MIR guidance system shared by both. Moreover, FL-3000N has only two forward steering fins, similar to RIM-116, it is to roll in flight. Specifications, length 2 m, diameter, 0.12 m, minimum range, 9 km for subsonic targets, 6 km for supersonic targets, guidance, 
passive or F plus MIR or MIR only. References, TY-90 Missile.